Hi guys, so today we are going to be looking at a gymnastic grid exercise. This consists of the canter poles that we have here, which are six meters apart. They're pretty self-explanatory, that's the first part. The second part that we have is the cross pole bounces. Now I have these down pretty low to begin with, just to get the horse used to them and the rider used to them. And these exercises are supposed to be done small. They're just for suppleness training, for getting the horse to bring up its front legs really quickly and just train that. So these guys here are three meters apart. So that is your bounce. A general bounce is three meters apart. But of course, if you have a horse with a particularly long stride, then you want to just adjust that, make it a little bit wider. And if you have a pony, you want to make them a little bit shorter. So you can just test it out yourself, see what happens, change things around and kind of just go with the flow. So these guys are the second obstacle that we have here. There's just three of them. You can add more more, you can take away some, you can pretty much do whatever you'd like to do with this exercise. It's very flexible and that's what I love about it. So moving over here to the grid work part of this, we want to come right into the corner, really sit the horse back, show him what's in front of him, give him loads of time to see the fences, really sit back in this corner here and make sure that you have all the power of the full horse. So the first part we have here is the cross pole. Now this part is a bounce, so it's just the three meters in between. The next part here that we have is just a single followed by a one strided distance. So with this one strided distance, what we have is a smaller fence to follow through after it. Again, stressing keeping these fences small. It's just a gymnastic exercise. It's not really about big sizes, big fences. It's just about the simple exercises, teaching the horse to snap up its front legs and let out its back legs. So moving on from this fence here, we have a two strided. Now the two strided fence here, I have with ground pole in the middle. If you feel you don't want to have ground pole, that's not necessary, but it's a nice addition to this. So we have the 12 meters in between these guys here and onto the last fence, which is the oxer. Now this fence can again be a single fence or an oxer. Again, what I love about this whole exercise that it's so easily changeable. You can move everything around and adapt it to the way you like to ride. So just to stress again, to make sure that when you're coming through this, that you keep the horse together, you land from the fence and you pick the horse up hold up the reins, wrap your legs around the horse and really ride through every part of this. So I suppose the next thing to do is just to get on the horse and do it.